as always. Sorry for the wind noise. I mean, we're over here in a valley surrounded by mountains and I have no trees around me. So, you know, it ain't, it ain't blocking none of the wind. So, we're just catching all of it. That's why we need to shop to get done that way. We ain't gotta worry about this as much anyways. But uh, since the last video, we got electrician's got the power ran out here. That's for when I get done, I can go in a box and you know start wiring everything up. He was gonna give me a quote on uh, him doing it, but I ain't got that quote yet. And honestly, thinking back, it's probably gonna hurt my feelings. So, uh, it'll probably end up being me doing it too. But last video, seeing we had the, got the garage doors in. I was able to find these seals to yeah, hopefully get rid of that, all that gap. So, uh, we're going to throw those on. And after we get those done, we need to, uh, see about this door jam here. That way we can. Get that door put on. Them long white things with the seals to go around. I'll have to cut a couple of them. Door or door jam stuff over here. Door knob, blah, blah, blah. See how far we can get done today. All right, so here's what we got. I forgot. It was a uh, garage door stop seal or molding or some mess like that these are nine foot strips i think there was actually some shorter ones but and now that my back is wood the seal will hang over a little bit cover that gap then we got ones for each side as well hopefully this nine foot one is actually nine foot and we can just throw her up around the top because that's a nine foot door and I know it's probably not exactly correct. I'm probably, well, actually, I'm sure it's not exactly correct. I'm gonna use these little, I think these are little roofing nails, actually. Block the big head on them, and they ain't real long, and, and I already got them. So, uh, trifecta there, you know, it's whatever. It's what we're gonna use. So, I need to measure those right quick, cut them. I don't think they need to go hammer them up there, blah, 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 blah. It's simple. I'm calling it simple. Hopefully it ends up simple. All right, well, this is what we got. Okay, no gap, no gap, tiny gap. No gap, no gap, no gap, no gap, tiny gap. And looks good the rest of the way around. Pretty sure the reason I got this tiny gap, which top of that door actually was a little bit dinged up out of the box. But uh, the top roller on this top part of this top panel of the door is actually not supported by the straight track. It's already supported by the rounded up here so here's where it's at so it's already slightly pulling the top of that door backwards so that's why i got that small gap there ain't really nothing i can do about that really but i guess i'm about to cycle this door and see if i mess anything up that way i know if i need to adjust it or uh, take it off and move my you know adjust it to where it's not in the way or something like that Hopefully it's good and we can just go move on to the next one and hopefully start on my door jam. All right, and I just cycled it and it looks the same as it did. So let's move on.
All right, here we go. She's on and cycle. I can always go back later. <laughs> Put some white paint over him or something. Ain't no huge deal. Ain't hurting my feelings. Look, tiny gap, just like the other side, like I told you. But I cycled her, and she looks good afterwards. All right, so it wasn't a big thing, but, you know, something else that needed to be done. Don't you think it's funny, though, a little ironic, that I was so worried about finding them doorstop seals so I could seal off these doors. But look at all the rest of this. That is just wide open. <laughs> all right, so now... And check out that door jam. Hopefully we can get that together. And then I need to try to find, try to get some, uh, get an estimate. Do a bunch of measurements and get an estimate of how much metal I'm going to need to cover this thing. So, because after that door jam right there, that is the next thing that needs to be done is she needs to be covered. So. I need to come up with an estimate. And then when I call them, I'm sure they're going to hurt my feelings really bad. So let's get on this door jam. All right. So there's my rough opening. There's my little threshold I'm going to be using. I don't have anything with me to actually tie that to the concrete or nothing. But so at the moment, there's my door jams. I gotta trim this down a little bit to make her fit and we'll nail her together. Obviously, it's not completely done. I said I ain't got nothing holding it down right now. I got some concrete screws at the house. I just, I was in a hurry when I left. I can always drill two or three across through where they live in there and we're good. But, uh, got these up. Was, that was like crap right there. But, you know, everything that I've seen about these showed everybody else nailing this and having it sitting on the top of these but this was not as wide as my rough opening so i did it this way and i had to trim a little bit down to fit it in between there so that's that's how that's gonna look so but she's in and i mean it don't look terrible it is a shop it's not somebody's home I can throw a little caulking in there, it'll be fine. I mean, there's that rough looking door anyways. I'm gonna take this right here off because it's already come off the other side. So, sure that, hey, you know, like that right there. And then just leave her all wide open like it. But, uh, yeah, and also, I tried to get all my screw holes tucked in here behind this that way they wasn't eyesores completely so most of them are hidden really well the others are slightly seen i guess i need to hold this door up i did some measurements but i need to i guess i need to hold this door up and uh get an idea how she gonna fit it's got hinges on it i don't know if i'll be doing all that today but let's see I actually need to trim a right here. This is an old used door. And that actually needs a small piece of wood tucked in there. Or something. It was in a shed for a long time. But uh I don't know. We'll figure something out. But I guess I'm gonna attempt to oh you seen me grab the salt end of that. And before I put this up here, I was trimming away. What it was is when I made that header, you know, you put the plywood or whatever between the two, two by twelves. It was, there was like a little spot in there that was dipping down and it was messing with my board there. 
I want it not to be nice and flush, so that's what I was doing there. Let's hold this door up and see how this looks. Well, that's sketchy. I ain't got nothing holding it up. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I got a little bit of a gap of source up there, which it would be hung up a little bit, anyways. But, I mean,. I would have to hold it up a little bit to take care of some of that gap up there. Then I'd probably have to put one of them little sweet thing. You know what I'm saying? The little gap filler things on the bottom of the door anyways. And all that nonsense. Let's see if I got anything to hold that up. All right, looks like crap, but the uh, door jam, like that much of it was, well, you know, like not not half that much, but uh, like an inch of it or so was sticking over and just hanging out. I didn't really like it. So I grabbed some of these scrap two by fours and framed out around it. <clears throat> so I mean, I can shoot a, screw in here or something if i really wanted to fill it in with putty or whatever leave it but uh man i really want to get that door hung what do i have it's small enough mm, maybe those scraps from my door seal maybe I only need one. We shall see. All right. So being a dummy, not like I'm gonna have the be able to have the door closed. Just put freaking screws in it. So uh, this two by four here is just just a hair off of what that would be, anyways. So I'm gonna set her out here, set the door on it, and see if I can find a comfortable spot for these hinges to mount up to. So, you know how I just mentioned that word, dummy? You're gonna hear it a lot in my videos, just so you know, because I screw up all the time. Well, you seen that little clip of me? I was walking over setting it on the camera stand here. Well, my bad, it'll look like this. I was walking over and like this. And then she cuts out. She just cuts out. Well, that's cause I hit the button and you know, I just shut her off. But anyways, you didn't see my two by four trip worked. It was the right height. 
store was level. You know, I put a screw in each hinge, took it out from under, threw a level on it. It was good. Shut a couple times. Or, well, swung it to a couple times. Went ahead, threw screws in the rest of them. And then I was like, hey, this thing wasn't latching. You know, it wasn't close. Uh, I mean, now she latches. You didn't get to see none of that because I'm a dummy. And I messed up. But here she is. And there is still small gaps here and there. Uh, I'll have to address that. You know, there there was an idiot that framed up this door and everything. So, I mean, yeah, I know. It's whatever. We'll figure it out. Hmm. But, for now, all that's in. Doors hung. New doorknob. Keys. You know, I'm... Like, I'm actually going to keep somebody out. Look, look at all that. Look at all that. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Now, what can I actually do today? I do have some trim to go around the door. But, I'm not exactly sure I, could, I should uh, throw that on there, you know? It's more of a finished kind of thought. So we might throw that in the shed. Right. I'm going to have to think on my gap situation. It's right here. Right here. See a little gap there? Right up to there? Hmm. Do I have any? Oh. Hmm. And the bottom don't even seem to have a gap. No. No. I do have a gap up that side. I wonder. I wonder. I should, uh, I got some shims at the house. I bet I could go down through there, loosening them screws up, put some shims behind. And I could probably get rid of 90% of that. I would almost have to take off this top piece here, though, and trim a little hair off of it just to get that board to go over more of the air well. Because you know, if I scooted it over to this side I might go ahead and take it off scoot it over all the way to that side that way that gap is over here because this is the side I'm gonna have to shim anyways I think it's I think it's I think that's what's gonna have to be done so let's do that right quick <laughs> Not going to be today, but pretty certain I can, I can handle that. Check this out. Everything looking good. Now she's flush over here. And I put the gap up here because I'm going to put shims behind here to bring this over to take care of that gap. I got shims at the house. I just forgot to throw them in the car. So pretty certain I can handle that. Not a big deal. So. I'm pretty proud of that, you know, for somebody who don't know what they're doing. Remember, not a professional. Not. As if you can't tell by watching me work. All right. I guess about all I can really do today. So now it's about to get dark on me. Look at that back there. Camera don't do it justice. It does not. But uh, I need to try to get a rough estimate of measurements of these walls and an idea of how much metal it'll take. So, I guess I need to pick up some tools and 
grab a, a long measuring tape. Oh, what's up? And here we are. We're back. As we said, I need to shim this door. I, uh, it's been a few days. I was on day shift, so I can't do nothing when I'm working day shift. Because it's dark as crap when I get off. Dark when I go in, dark when I get off. So, I need to shim this. See if we can get rid of this, uh, gap of source. Rex here. Let me see, was that all I was gonna do? I was gonna shim it. I don't have no trim. I was thinking about doing some trim around this. Like some little shoot, what is it called? Shoe molding or something. Whatever it's called. I keep looking because I'm waiting for a stove to be delivered. So, uh, oh, also, we had some rough winds. We had some rough weather yesterday. And as you can tell, there's nothing stopping the wind around here. But, uh, my, my rigged up uh, rear support there came undone. So, uh, I did grab some longer screws. That was the biggest problem this screw time. Wasn't really long enough for all that. So, I'll probably throw some extra screws in a lot of that, to be quite honest with you. So, what to do first? Oh, also. I have decided I'm not gonna do the metal on the building myself. I've done everything else except for the pad. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do the metal. I got a buddy at uh, at church. He, they do all that. So I'm gonna let them do it. Maybe if I have any mistakes that I've made, they can cover it up, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I do gotta put a couple more two by fours up yonder in that top four foot there to secure some wood too. And I probably need to figure out something to put some up there in that eave as well. We'll uh, see what we can get into here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm, I'm rambling because I'm not exactly sure where I want to start at today. So. All right. All right. Here's, here we go. Got my shims there. I drill my level. And this side is where the gap is. Remember we uh, made sure that gap on the bear was on this side. So. Check a level of this thing. That's <laughs> crazy. It says that we're out. Okay. Okay. About to be perfectly level. It does. It doesn't come out. And that's about the same size gap as it was. So, uh, I'm going to loosen up these screws. If I can find them behind the thing here. This is a two handed job. Yeah, here we go. I uh, I just seen a couple shims, couple shims, couple shims, and couple shims. And we shut it. Looks much better, but then you get to about right. Where's that? Oh, you can't even see it on camera. I can see a lot. A very small. There we go. Very small crack right through here. But like I said, I'm thinking about doing a small shoe molding up through here, anyways, around it or something. But I mean, if I did that, then I would be completely fine. So. I'm not gonna shim it out anymore for that small of a spot. Plus, this is about as far over as it needs to be. 
and it's level down through there. So I think I might have just made my rough opening just a hair too wide, really. So that's it's all me. All me. All right, well, now that that is shimmed, I guess I'm gonna jump on this lift and try to fix my rear uh, track support for my garage door. Throw some longer screws in there and everything. Probably go ahead and throw a couple long screws in, in the other door too. And uh, also by then, that uh, hopefully by, by then that stove will be here. Cause I don't really wanna be on the lift on the back wall back there trying to put two by fours up when, when they get here. And then them not see me or me not see them for some reason. Let's see. All right, so got yeah, that back up there, spring and all that, because it'd come loose once it all popped and done or whatever. Luckily, the safety wire safe, safely secured it. But I went ahead and threw some uh, extra long screws in them to help secure that a little bit better. Like I said, the ones I had in there must have been a hair too short. They wasn't. They wasn't doing all they needed to do for the pressure I was putting her under. Anyways, we did that, as you've seen. Got the door shimmed. And this sill plate down here is, uh, you know, not secured. So, uh, I'm gonna try to uh, drill three or four holes in it through the concrete. Got some concrete screws. Hopefully secure that down and all that jazz. And then we shall work on the uh, eaves up there. I think it's I think it's right terminology. Put some more two by fours up there. That way the metal can secure up there instead of having a four foot gap that nothing secures it. Let's stop rambling. Let's start drilling. Right, and now she is. Look at there. Ain't no movement. I just put three across it. Works fine. I mean, if it was longer, I'd put four, but it's, I don't feel like that's sufficient. All right, now to get my game plan on. I know I gotta have some up here, and I pretty well have a good idea how how I'm gonna space it or whatever. Up here, though has the the cross braces going that uh, triangulated and everything and i'm just i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure on how i'm gonna do that because if i just bolt it to them i'm not sure i'm not sure how much because those are narrow All right, so uh, there's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Those are I don't really feel like I can put it on them because it'd be sticking out past the main beams up there. Okay, let's just say I have no idea. You know, like usual, I have no idea what I'm gonna do there. I'll figure something out. Till then, I guess let's start on this bag back here. Alright, so quick 
water break. But we got them. Got them two more runs way up yonder at the top. That ought to be enough securing for uh, the eve. Oh my goodness, his guts hit me. But that ought to be enough for the eaves up there. Come on. Try to figure out what I'm gonna do up there. And I did. He's, when he came and looked at the building, well, I got my door up now, so it's kind of hard. But uh, he said, man, I walked in the door and looked up to the left corner, which is up there. And he said, no, something just looks off, man. And he said, the wall's not, or if everything's not square or whatever, so it's kind of hard to make it look, the metal make, make the metal look all that great if the building's not, you know, good and square and all this. I'll show you what probably was throwing him off. See that right there? So you get the wood strip and then you get that metal strip. See how that angles up more? What it is is this is pieced together through here. And it's pretty even. That slightly gets a little bit bigger right in here. I think that metal piece had a bend in it. I'm gonna, before I get done, I'm gonna try to unscrew that and bend it back and get it straighter. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably what was throwing him off there. Plus he kind of looked at it at night too, so he probably couldn't really get that great of a view at it. But uh, I'll try to, Jamie, if you're watching this, I'll try to make sure that's straighter for you. That way it don't mess up you, your head when you walk in the next time. But uh, I guess let's drink me some water right quick and uh, we're gonna jump back up on this lift, grab me some wood and try to figure out something for this front. Hmm. All right, let's get it. All right, so excuse the wind, you know, as always. All right, so I can't mount this middle here. I'm not just gonna do that out there because my wall is flush. The wall that I built is flush with the front of this. So I don't want to stick these on here and then it be out another inch and a half past everything else. So I guess what I'm gonna do, and I also don't wanna take these out and just do wood across here either, because one, I didn't buy enough wood for all that. And two, I just don't want to, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold these up here and mark the angle and then drill a hole through these into here, upwards like that, that way these two by fours are in here flush with this and it's not sticking out and protruding and all that and it'll come across to this brace do the same angle it screw it up to it one between there one between them two one between them two one between them two all that mess and then we'll come up higher and do something a little higher too hopefully have enough wood for all that but not for the whole building the whole front of this crap so that's the route I'm going. Hopefully that route is okay. We shall see. And as if you didn't know, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a dummy. And since they got power ran to the house, I no longer have my long extension cord all the way from that temporary hole. And uh, so I didn't have my charger on. You know, usually I would have charge, my charger going and as soon as the battery died, I'd throw it on there. That way, hopefully I never ran out of batteries. So I didn't do that. And I just ran out of batteries. And cutting them right there with a battery powered uh, circular saw. Wires on a daggum battery. Plus I think my blade's about gone too. So that don't help none either. So I had to look in like all my extra vehicles out here hoping that'd be like a handsaw. And well, in the back of the old work Lincoln, you know, she hardly ever lets me down. I found an old hacksaw. So I guess we're gonna try to get some cut that we hope. Let's see here. 
roundabout in there or something like that. That needs to be cleaned up some. But after cleaning that up, that'll work. I'm gonna try to get some pieces cut. That way I know they're gonna work. That way by the time I got a battery ready, I can go ahead and zzz, 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 and all that mess. So hopefully, because it's like 3.30, I ain't ready to give in. I'm wanting to get this done today because the rest of the week, well, tomorrow's Sunday. The rest of the week, or tomorrow and the rest of the week is absolutely freezing. And I ain't coming out here in no 10 degrees, so I'll just let you know. I've been out here about 20, 26, 27, but I ain't coming out here. No. And that's with promises it's going to get up to like 50 something that day. I ain't coming out here at no 10 degrees with promises it's going to get up to like 27. It ain't, it ain't happening, so we're going to do what we can do. I'll tell you what. Thank the good Lord. Uh, we bought that little mini shed over there. Because I'd already brought some of my bigger tools that I only use on like woodworking, like bigger woodworking projects and stuff. There's my saw. I forgot I had it in there, then it just hit me while I was in the middle of <laughs> fat boy huffing and puffing with a handsaw. Okay. So as long as I can get a battery or two to charge for I can use my drill and man pack, I'll be all right. Whew, I'm about wore out. All right, so that up there is what it's looking like. As you can tell, this first one over here, let me see if I can zoom in. See them two right there? They don't meet up all that great. That first one's the one I kind of did mostly with the hacksaw. Then I thought about the saw, or the big saw. And look at the rest of them. I got the rest of them pretty even. That first one, she just off of her. But you know what, as long as I get a screw in that mug and it holds the metal on, I don't give a crap, because after the mug goes on, you ain't gonna see that. But, uh. I got three more I'm gonna do. I don't think it really needs it, but I'm gonna throw some up there a little bit higher. And uh, then we're gonna try to check out that piece over there. I think Ben or whatever, maybe loosen it up and, uh, and try to bend it back a little straighter. That way he don't mess with Jamie's eyes too bad. And he don't start thinking my building's about to fall on him or something. But uh, I'm about to cut these. I'm gonna throw them up and then we'll Try to go over and check on that. Man, it's getting colder now. The sun about to go down. All right, change of plans. I'm not putting an extra one up here because I was going to put it right across here. I can't get my daggum drill and impact up in there, so we're done with that. We're going to go check on these others over here that we think's bent or whatever. And then cleaning my mess. I'm going to the house. Hopefully it's not dark when I leave. I'm hoping I can get out of here before dark. All right, well, that up there looks a little more pleasing to the eye. So, hopefully, you know. Like I said, right that triple two by fours up there, I was going to do one above it, but there just wasn't enough room to get the drill in and everything. I think it'll be all right. Uh, fix my rear support there. I'm thinking I'm going to grab a couple boards that are like 10 foot long. That way I can go between this one to that one. That way they don't go sideways, come out sideways or whatever. A little bit better. Did two strips up here, all the way across on the outside there, matching these others. We should, should be good at this point. Uh, let me see, Monday's a holiday. So uh, Tuesday, weather permitting, hopefully he'll uh, get me a more accurate quote, which I'm the guesstimate he's already gave me of. Oh yeah, also trimmed the door. Forgot about that one. Trimmed or not trimmed it, but uh, wedged it and uh, got rid of most of that gap. Anyways. Should be good for him to give me a better S or a more accurate estimate. And, uh, which I've already pretty much told him we was good as long as it was within the range of uh, what he told me. So he gave me a ballpark. But as long as it's in that range, I told him just we'll go ahead with it. But he's going to give me a more accurate estimate. And then I'm going to let the professionals do the metal work. You know?
That way, if I do have some flaws, they can be covered up with a good, a good metal job. Then I need a good metal job. <laughs> but, uh, and hopefully in the next week or so, depending on how busy they are, we can pretty much have this mug covered and it'll be usable. You know, just won't have no lights in it. We'll have to do find out what kind of insulation and stuff we're going to do and cover the walls and think about some lighting and run some wires so i mean we've made humongous strides i ain't even gonna say steps we've made humongous strides towards having a shop now but uh it's definitely Definitely not over with. Somebody cleaning my mess. Call it a day. Hopefully I can get out of here before it gets dark. I mean, we it's creeping up on me. Y'all, thanks for watching Naptime Builder. Really greatly appreciate anybody that watches the videos, likes the videos, shares them. Comment. Let me know. But hey, cuz, look, I know you be saying you ain't no professional and everything, but that right there is horrible. Okay, let me know. I don't care. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings, okay? But thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll catch y'all next video.